hello guys so in this video we'll solve this problem strong password so louis joined a social networking site to stay in touch with her friends the sign up page require her to input a name and a password however the password must be strong website considers the password to be strong if it is satisfy the following criteria its length is at least six characters it contains at least one digit one lower case english character one upper case english characters and one special characters the special characters are these so she type a password of n length but the password field wasn't sure if it is wrong so she type she type and you you find the minimum number of characters she must add to make her password strong so the numbers will be 0 to 9 lower case will be a to z lower case characters and upper case will be capital a to capital z and the special characters will be this so input format is first line contains integer n denoting the length of the string and the second line contains a string of n characters that the password that Lewis has entered each character is either a upper case lower case alphabet or a digit or a special character so in this sample input there are three characters that is one upper case one lower case and one number but here you can see there is no special type of character and the length of the password is also less than six characters so here we will print three because length is not satisfying and we have to print the Sing single integer denoting the number of answers to the problem so we have to print the number of characters we have to add to make the password strong so in this in this password there are 11 characters there is one special character one capital case and lower case also but password length is also more than six characters but there is a missing number that is number is not included in the character in the password so we have to print one to make the password strong so we will use the flag system to solve this problem we will use the flags to solve this problem so in this we need a number we have to add to make our password strong and we need flags so the flags will be lower flag for lower case letters upper flag for upper case letters character flag for character special type of character and number flag for number so these are the flags we are going to use to solve our problem and we will run a loop to find if there is character included or number included lower case letter included and upper case letter included and so on We will run this loop till n number of characters. Modification will be i plus plus. So if password is containing letters that is small a between two small z 
then we will increment our lower flight. So we will know that there is a lower case letter in our password. We will do the same for the upper case letters. If the letters are containing between A to Z, capital A to capital Z, in this case this A will convert into this ASCII value and Z will also convert into this ASCII value. And if any character is there in the password between these ASCII values from this to this ASCII value then we have to increment our upper case flag. And we will do the same for the numbers. So the ASCII value of 0 is 48. And we have to check from 4, 0 to 9. So it will be less than equal to 57 that is ASCII value of 9 is 57. So we will know that there is a number in our password. So we have to increment our number flag. And we have to check the special characters. So for the special characters you can do what I did is I found the ASCII values and I have chosen their range. I just put this in the logic so this is the range of some characters or there are other characters in this range also This 58, 33, 50, 48, 57, these all are ASCII values. So there are other characters which are containing in this range from 91 to 96. So this will cover all the characters they have mentioned to include in our character in our password so this will check if there are any characters in our password here we have to give i so in this number of range all these characters that is this exclamation mark at the rate mark hash dollar sign all these characters are included in this range that is 33 to 47 58 to 64 91 to 96 so we will know that there are characters included in our password so we have to increment our character flag after that what we need to check is that if the lower flag is there or not that is if the lower case letter is included or not so if it is not included the lowercase flag will be zero after this for loop that is if it is zero then there is no lowercase letter in our password so we have to increment our number
which we are going to return after we will do the same for uppercase if there is no uppercase later then upper flag will be 0 we have to do for all the flags and we have to increment the number count and the last one is num flag if num flag is 0 the number is not and the number is not included in our password so this will increment the number Where, wherever the lower flag is not included the number will be in, in, incremented by 1 and so so, uh, so far all to the same if upper flag is upper case letter is not included in a password the number will be incremented by 1 character flag that is character is not included special characters like hash dollar sign is not included in password then the number will be incremented by 1 and if the number is not included then the number will be incremented by 1 and so on so after that if the password is less than containing less than six characters so for that if password is containing less than six characters we have to check the count six minus n so if this six minus n count is greater than the number then we have to increment and we have to return the number or else we have to return the count and if this n is not less than 6 then we have to return the number only so we will return here number So our code is completed. So we will run our code. So first two tests are passed. We will submit our code. While the code is submitting, please click on the subscribe button to get more videos on hacker and solutions. And press the like button if you like this video. So test case 2 has passed, test cases are running, one by one all the test cases are passing. So all the test cases have passed so our code is running fine and thank you for watching.